Technological revolutions can change a business environment overnight. Market leaders who are too afraid to make changes or try anything new are often left behind by much smaller and more agile competitors who are able to embrace the new tools with ease. An example of this is the revolution in shipping which became evident in the 1950s. Since the 1880s, New York City was one of the most prominent shipping hubs of the world and eventually it handled up to one-third of America's seaborne trade in manufactured goods. With their port in a state of disrepair, in 1956, New York began a plan to rebuild with an estimated cost of $130 million, which back then was a ton of money. For conventional shipping, the new plans were state-of-the-art, and for many products, the cost of shipping freight could be as high as 25% back in those days. But a revolution was building led by Malcolm McLean, a truck driver from North Carolina. McLean was devising a system based around using large, standardized shipping containers which could be transported by semi-truck, train, or boat. Instead of having to painstakingly load and reload cargo at each hub, the entire container was moved by crane from truck to boat or boat to train or whatever. McLean was innovating a new transportation system that would slash the cost of shipping and render New York's brand new ports obsolete before they were even completed. New York City was about to learn an expensive lesson that I'm going to share with you. All the money in the world might not be enough to help overcome the disadvantages of using the wrong strategy. In 1958, the Port Authority broke ground on a new shipping port in New Jersey. New Jersey's new port would be designated for the kind of containerized shipping processes that McLean envisioned. By 1962, almost all of this cargo going through the area uh, went through New Jersey and almost none of it went through New York City's brand new port. In the years to come, New York would continue to pour tens of millions of dollars into the wrong strategy as it tried to recover the lost shipping business. By 1966, New York had finally realized its fate and voted to turn the brand new and hopelessly outdated docks into recreational use facilities. Marketing media is going through a similar revolution. Is your traditional media marketing still working like it used to? Some of you may be thinking that the solution is just to spend more money. However, if the bridge is completely out, hitting the gas harder isn't a good strategy. Most people in the shipping industry believed that container shipping was just a fad, that it would never catch on, or that they could control it. They refused to acknowledge the changes that they were immersed in, and they paid dearly for it. Your business does not have to share the same fate. I challenge you to recognize this media revolution for what it is and change direction sooner rather than later. For more information on how to use the revolution of social media marketing to accelerate your business, let me encourage you to visit buildatribe.com and see what useful ideas that you can pick up.